Hi students, welcome back. Now let's have a look on the homogeneous coordinates. That is a 2D homogeneous coordinates. Uh, in the previous videos, I, ex uh, I had given a formula, means the matrix representation of homogeneous coordinates. Now in this video, I want to give a clear information regarding what exactly the homogeneous coordinates is. Actually, the homogeneous coordinates uh, represents the coordinates in two dimensional with a three vector two-dimensional with a three vector what it mean I'm saying the homogeneous coordinates represents the coordinates in two-dimensional with three vectors two-dimensional means x y here two-dimensional vectors so these can converting into three vectors that is x y and some uh, variable one Let's take the 1 or something like W or anything or H, whatever it may be. Okay. And this should be like the positive number and it should be uh, greater than 1. It's better if you take 1 as a H. Then the, the calculations becomes very easy. Actually, uh, this one, the addition, adding a third coordinate to, to every 2D point adding a third coordinate to every 2d point is going to convert the two dimensional into three dimensional that is the main concept you can all if you change the 3d into if you want to change the 3d into 2d you get the same answer only okay but here with the help of the homogeneous coordinates we are just converting the 2d object into 3d object actually the homogeneous coordinates are generally used in design and construction application so wherever you want to work on the design and construction applications we are working on the homogeneous coordinates here we perform translations here we are going to perform translations rotation scaling why we are performing i already explained about these concepts translation rotation scaling in 3, 2d objects if you don't know you just go and watch my previous videos but the translation here uh, this homogeneous coordinates can perform translations rotation scaling to fit the picture into proper position to fit the picture whatever the object into proper position so that is why we are using this homogeneous coordinates. Now let's discuss how these objects that is a 2D, two dimensional is going to be converted into three vector. Even though it is converted into three vector, the value is not going to be changed. Now let's have a look on that. Let me take a whole coordinate which is a two dimensional is x, y. Now I want to change this old into new object which is adding one more vector so that it becomes a three coordinates. Homogeneous x. Whenever I am trying to add one more coordinate vector obviously this old value is also going to be changed but the output remains the same only. I will show you. xh and y homogeneous coordinate and homogeneous coordinate. This is the new one. The old one and the new one. So, here, whatever the, uh, if you want to convert this old into the new one, that is the 3D, 3D, XH is nothing but X into H and YH is nothing but Y into H. Remember this formula. If you want to change the object to from 2D to 3D, the XH, whatever it is there, the new coordinate is X into H, homogeneous coordinate and Y into H, the homogeneous coordinate. Old value into homogeneous coordinate, new value into homo, uh, old value into homogeneous coordinate, you will get the new values. Okay. Suppose I want to change this into 2D. Again, I want to come back to the normal position. How can? The X is nothing but XH divided by H and Y is equal to YH divided by H. If you divide the new values with the homogeneous coordinate, obviously you will get the old values only, X, Y. Okay, if you want the clarity on this, how these, uh, is this formulas are correct or not? Are you getting the new value and the old value? Or uh, you are uh, getting the same values or not? Let's have a look on with one example. So that you will get a clarity and the clear information regarding this homogeneous coordinates. Let me take 2 comma 3 as my old coordinates. Now convert into homogeneous. 
convert into homogeneous. Try to convert this into homogeneous coordinates. Let me take the homogeneous, you have to give the homogeneous coordinate that is if h is equal to 2, let's take the h value as 2. Obviously, if you take 1, then the calculation will become very easy, but I want to take a, a more than 1 also because more, uh, you have to take any positive value. So, I am taking the more than 1 so that you will get uh, clarity on this thing. So, let's take the new coordinates. The new coordinates is xh means x into h that is x this is x and y h is 2 2 2 is 4 that is 2 2 into 2 3 into 2 and h value is 2 okay then you are getting 4 comma 6 comma 2 so this is my new homogeneous coordinates the 2 2d is converted into 3d okay the 2d object is converted into 3d now let's convert back, convert into 2D. Again convert this 3D into 2D. Apply this formula. X is XH by H. XH is 4. 4 by H is 2. And YH is 6. 6 by 2. That means you are getting 4 by 2. 2 comma 3. Is it your old coordinates right or wrong? This is the old coordinates. So, this is how you can uh, use a homogeneous coordinate. Uh, I hope you understand these formulas. Now, let's have a work on our concept that is now expand the 2D objects into 3D. That means the translations, rotations and scaling. Apply these homogeneous coordinates in translations, rotation and the scaling. I am explaining the formula students so that you can apply these formulas when you are working on the problems. Okay. For homogeneous on homogeneous coordinates so actually our general uh, x dash is tx plus x and y dash is ty plus y okay so the matrix representation is tx ty plus xy is so this is a matrix representation of x dash y dash now let's add a homogeneous coordinate x dash y dash h now 1 0 tx 0 1 ty and 0 0 h so in place of h i am taking 1 it's better you can take 1 so that the simplification becomes easier this is nothing but the 1 is nothing but the h value and x y 1 so this is a formula for the translations now let's have a look on rotation the homogeneous coordinate, 2D homogeneous coordinate on rotation. So, the general formula without homogeneous coordinate is x dash y dash is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into xy. Now, let's see the homogeneous coordination on rotation. 1. Adding one more vector. I am converting the 2 vector into 3 vector. Matrix representation is cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1 and x, y, 1. So, this is a formula for the rotation. Now, let's see about the scaling also. The homogeneous coordinates for the scaling also. The scaling is uh, generally the formula is x dash, y dash in the two vector it is sx, 0, 0, s y is the scaling factor x y now let's see the look on the homogeneous coordinate x dash y dash 1 i'm taking the homogeneous coordinate as 1 s x 0 0 0 s y 0 0 0 1 So, this is the homogeneous coordinates for all the uh, transformations trans uh, translations rotation and scaling Thank you.